Hi, Christy in the Ready Kitchen, and I'd like to share a recipe to make your own made from scratch pie crust. Um, this recipe will make a nine inch two crust pie. Um, it's really simple. I know for years I was always scared to try it, and now I love making my own pie crust, and they taste a lot better too. And all you need are a few simple ingredients. For the two crust pie, you'll need uh, two cups of leveled flour, it's an all-purpose flour, and to that you'll add one teaspoon of salt, and then just mix those two together. Now to this mixture, I'm going to add three-fourths cup of shortening, I'm using Crisco shortening. And if you have a pastry blender, um, I'm going to use the Rada Food Chopper. It works just like a pastry blender. And you're going to just mix that until you get chunks about the size of a pea. If you don't have a pastry blender or this food chopper, you can use two knives to mix it all in. Now once you have that all mixed together. I'm going to add very cold water, five tablespoons, and I'm going to add one tablespoon at a time. I even put ice in the water. It just seems to work better if it's really cold water. So just drizzle that in there. And with a regular fork, you just start stirring. It should pretty much be forming uh, be sticking together and forming a ball. So I got one more to add. If it if it already is sticking well, you might not need the whole five tablespoons. This is kind of how you feel it is. Now you can see how it's all sticking pretty well together. So now it made it into a ball. Now this is a two crust pie, so you just break that in half. All right, so now the rolling out part. And I like to have the counter just a little damp so it, because I'm going to use um, wax paper to roll it. And if you dampen the counter, it won't slide around. So I put down two sheets and put your dough ball in the middle. And then I'm going to put two more sheets over top. And then with the rolling pin, I like to roll one way. Just so you keep it round, you want to change directions of your rolling pin. And then it's good to have your pie plate ready because you want to use that. You want it to be bigger than your pie plate so you have a nice crust edge. All right, so if you measure it and you can see the crust past the pan, it's big enough. Um, I'm using the Rada Stoneware um, pie plate so you don't have to grease that. It makes the best pies. So then you peel off the top layer. And what I like about the wax paper is you can pick the whole crust up. So then you just 
and then you gently make sure that the crust gets all the way to the bottom. And then you can gently peel off the wax paper. So I was a little short on the edge here. All you do is piece it in from the other edge. Now, if you're making a one crust pie, um, you just would fold these under and you could do a little edge with your finger. You could take a fork, make an edge. But I'm gonna make a, a two a filled fruit pie. So I'm gonna have another one that I'm gonna make out of here and seal it in that. Uh, that's another video where I make a black raspberry pie. Now, if you want a baked one crust pie, you'd want to poke at least 50 times with the fork. Um, so when it bakes, it doesn't uh, bubble up, it stays flat. But that's an easy way to make a pie crust. Um, just try it, it's really easy. And look for my other videos on more of my pies.